The report slash report interface or RRI makes it possible to jump from one report to another report for further information. In SAP BW, you can jump to destinations within and outside of the SAP BW system. With the RRI, you can create several individual reports, each with a limited number of characteristics. These can be linked to each other for flexible data evaluations. An important use case for RRI is jumping from a query with highly aggregated values to a query showing line items. Normally, you would create an info cube with aggregated data and not use a query on an info provider with a huge amount of line items. For example, it may be necessary from time to time to use an info cube to analyze the incoming order amounts of your customers in the current quarter. If you see a value that is extremely good or bad, look at the details of the transactions in this quarter. These transaction details can only be found in a data store object. In this case, you can create an RRI with the InfoCube query as sender and the DSO query as receiver. The DSO query is automatically filtered to the customer and quarter that you have selected in the InfoCube query. When it is called, the RRI first collects the following information from the cells of the sender query. The global filter, the rows and columns of the query definition, variables, the dynamic filter, the values in the navigation block of the query, that is, filter that can be changed by navigation, including hierarchies. This also applies to functionality in the BEX analyzer. Filters from the selected restricted key figure. Filter from the selected drill down characteristics. With the RRI, you can jump to a target from a BEX query executed in analysis or in other reporting tools such as BEX Analyzer or SAP Crystal Reports. This course focuses on the execution of RRI jumps in analysis. To use the RRI to jump to targets that you have defined in your query, you must define the targets with the sender or receiver assignment. The sender is the BEX query and the receiver is the target destination. To define the sender or receiver assignment, you use transaction RSBBS in SAP BW. When you have completed the assignment, you can choose Go to in the context menu of Report Cells to open all targets for the sender query. When you're creating a sender or receiver assignment, you can choose to create it for one query or for all queries of an info provider. You select the One Query tab to enter the technical name of the query or select the All Queries of Info Provider tab to enter the technical name of an info provider as sender. As well as jumping to another query and to targets in SAP applications, you can use the report slash report interface to jump from a report to an external URL. For example, a web address like httpmaps.google.com. In the assignment details of the sender or receiver assignment, you define the parameter to be passed to the URL. To do this, you must change the type of the sender info object to URL parameter and add the field name in the target URL.